Hey everyone, if you've recently noticed your car's temperature gauge on high, smelled a burning odor, or seen smoke coming out of your engine, these are signs that your engine is overheating. This issue is very serious and should be taken care of immediately. So, in this video, let's discuss the most common reasons for engine overheating. The very first step is to check if your car's check engine light is on. If it is, scan your car with an OBD scanner to see if there are any active trouble codes. Addressing the components related to these codes might fix your overheating issue. You can visit any parts store and scan OBD codes for free, or buy the best OBD scanner, link in the description. To learn the fixes for each OBD2 code, check our playlist on OBD2 codes. However, sometimes your engine may overheat without any trouble codes. In this case, let's dive into the top seven reasons your car engine might be overheating. Reason number one, low coolant level. Your vehicle may be running low on coolant, which is essential for the cooling system to function properly. It's crucial to maintain the coolant at the correct level. Open the hood and locate the coolant reservoir. Check the coolant level against the full and low marks. If the level is low, refill it to the proper level with the recommended type of coolant for your vehicle. After refilling, monitor the coolant level for a few days or weeks. If the level drops again, it indicates a coolant leak somewhere in the system. Here's a list of possibilities for an internal leak. If you notice white smoke in your exhaust, it's likely an internal leak. And here's a list of possibilities for an external leak. If you notice a green puddle of coolant under your car, it's likely an external leak. Reason number two, stuck closed thermostat valve. The purpose of the thermostat valve is to adjust the coolant flow according to the engine temperature. If this valve gets stuck in the closed position, the coolant won't circulate from the hot engine to the radiator. The radiator's job is to cool down the hot coolant. If the coolant is unable to reach the radiator, it will remain very hot and cause your engine to overheat. If you suspect a stuck thermostat, it's crucial to replace it promptly to restore proper coolant flow and prevent engine overheating. To find the right thermostat for your car make and model, check the link given in the description. Reason number three, faulty radiator cap. The radiator cap plays a crucial role in maintaining the correct pressure within the cooling system. If the radiator cap is faulty, it can cause overheating in two main ways. A torn gasket on the radiator cap can allow air to enter the cooling system. Air pockets within the cooling system can lead to overheating because they prevent the coolant from circulating properly. A radiator cap that is stuck closed can cause excessive pressure buildup. This pressure can result in leaks within the cooling system, leading to engine overheating. If the radiator cap appears to be stuck or damaged, replace it promptly to ensure proper pressure regulation and prevent air from entering the cooling system. Reason number four, faulty water pump. A defective water pump will fail to circulate the coolant through the system, which is essential for cooling down the engine. Without proper coolant flow, the coolant can't circulate through the radiator to get cooled, leading to engine overheating. Reason number five, Clogged radiator. If the radiator is clogged, it will prevent the coolant from flowing properly. If coolant can't pass through the radiator, it will never be able to cool down, increase in heat to the point where your engine's overheating. If you want to save money, try flushing out the system before buying a new radiator. I'll leave the chemical in the description below. Reason number six, faulty radiator fan. If the radiator fan isn't working, it won't be able to cool the hot coolant in the radiator. This hot coolant then circulates back into the engine, raising the engine's temperature and causing it to overheat. If you notice your overheating problem goes away at high speeds, then this is most likely the problem. As you drive, the increased airflow to the radiator compensates for the non-functioning fan. Reason number seven, low engine oil. The last possibility that most people don't think about is low oil or overused oil. Here's why it's important. Engine oil circulates through the engine, lubricating parts to reduce friction and dissipating heat to the coolant. 
Low engine oil or overused oil can't properly lubricate and cool the engine. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow automotive enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth automotive diagnostics and repair guides. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified